Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about the jQuery method of add class, which deals with CSS. So we talked about CSS in the past. We kind of jumped right into it. Like with CSS, we call it by using selectors consisting of the pound sign for, I for ID and the period for class. This CSS property that we're going to, or the CSS method that we're going to be using is called add class. It should work the same way as add ID, but there is no add ID. It's kind of weird. Let me go ahead and show you an example. So first things first, let's go ahead and create, we'll get this button out of here. We'll go, we'll just give it paragraph text. We'll just delete this whole thing. What is going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just delete that. Sick of that. Paragraph text, release the hounds. Hopefully the microphone's not too loud. And okay, so obviously we have this in just our basic default text. It's gonna come out in like 12 pixels or 14 pixels. It's gonna be in Times New Roman or whatever the default text is for that specific browser. So in here, let's go ahead and create some text that's not gonna be default text. We'll call it dot because it's add class, not add ID. We can't do a pound for this. We gotta do dot VP. And in here, we'll just go ahead and give it a font size of 200 pixels. We'll give it a font family of Ariel, Ariel, because that's the first one that came to my mind. And we'll give it a font color of orange. Okay, so now up here, let's go to our jQuery. Okay, we call it our document ready, which means it's ready to rock and roll. So now what do I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and source in our paragraph text. There's only one, so all we need is that P, double quotations, P just like that. How do we wanna trigger it? Well, we didn't create a button, so let's just do hover. So when we roll over this font, it should, it should, in theory, should execute what we want it to execute. And let's go ahead and give it an open curly brace, closing curly brace. And what do we want to call it? Well, we want to go ahead and call our font again. Our, I, I was kind of lazy with what's in our body tag. We're just going to go ahead and call our P tag again. Jeez, what is going on in the world? It's late. I just saw that movie, This Is The End, or They Will Be The End. It's the comedy, Armageddon comedy. Add class. This is what we're talking about. The whole video is on this right here. So we can alter our CSS by rolling over our paragraph text. And here's our altered CSS. Let's go ahead. And what did we call it? Well, we called it class VP. You don't have to put a dot right here. Could be confusing. Just VP. It's by class. It assumes that it's a period and not a hashtag. Let's look at this. This doesn't look right. It's because it's not. Let's go ahead and clean this up. Let's go to our root folder. Where are you? Let's open this up with a browser, I'll use Safari, release the hounds, roll over it, there it is, release the hounds, but our font color didn't show up, let's go put that, try it again, release the hounds, still didn't work, color. There it is. All right, guys, so that's it. We just learned how to do add class, which is an awesome jQuery method that deals with CSS. Hopefully this made sense. Make sure you guys have the correct code. I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll talk about a cool method.